Hey guys, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with yet another Contrast Plus painting tutorial for the Space Walls. Today we are painting the Hounds of Morkai. Now the Hounds of Morkai have got a really interesting dark grey scheme and well we're going to be achieving that today with a couple of very simple steps. So what you want to do is you want to prime your Hounds of Morkai in grey sear like I have done here and well the first colour we're going to use is Ultramarine's Blue which might not make a lot of sense, but it will in a moment. So what we want to do is we want to just get a nice even coat of this Ultramarine's Blue all over the armor. Now the areas to avoid when doing this, if possible, are the knee pads and the shoulder pads, including the trim on the right hand shoulder, left hand shoulder pad, I should say because those are gonna be Space Wolves gray rather than this dark gray. So you just wanna be very careful and you wanna take it very steady here, applying this Ultramarine's blue as you go. You wanna just take it a section at a time. And just take your time a little bit as you go. Just make sure you get a nice, smooth, even coat. And with that Ultramarine's blue applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to darken that blue right down to make it a really nice kind of bluish dark grey. And the colour that we're going to be using for this is Basilicanum grey. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Basilicanum grey on our brush and we're just going to start coating this over the top of all that ultramarine's blue, just like this. And the technique is much the same as it was when we applied ultramarine's blue. Just want to go nice and steady, making sure you get a nice smooth finish. Taking it a section at a time. Got a little too much silicone on my brush there. And with that done, you should now have this really lovely dark gray blue style armor, which is perfect for the Hounds of Morkai. Now don't worry about highlighting it just yet. We are gonna block in a few more of the base colors. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some Space Wolves gray. And this is gonna to be to do all of the Space Wolves gray colored armor around the miniature. So these areas include both the knee pads and this shoulder pad and the trim on his left shoulder pad. So similarly, we just wanna take a reasonable amount of this Space Wolves grey on our brush. I just want to start coating this over the top of these areas like this. Now don't worry if it gets a little bit spotchy, do your best to avoid that. So I've got a big dollop of it there on the bottom of the knee. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the brush to just mop up that little bit of excess like that. The reason I'm saying don't be too worried about it being a tiny bit spotchy is that we are going to strengthen this out with a glaze of rust gray in just a moment. And what that glaze will do is it'll also just cover over any imperfections that you might end up with. With that Space Wolves gray applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna create a roughly 10 parts contrast medium to one part rust gray mix. And this will create our lovely rust gray glaze. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this glaze all over the top of that area that we just covered in with the Space Wolves Grey. Just trying where possible to avoid any recesses. Admittedly, there aren't many on these large flat panels. Uh, and also try and avoid the edges, but it doesn't matter too much if you if you, if you you get some of this on those edges. So we are gonna highlight them and that will kind of fix any problems. But if you, do, if you are able to leave the edges as they are, what it'll do is it'll establish a kind of Fenrisian Grey-esque highlight for you first and foremost. So 
just using this glaze like this, just building it up. And that contrast medium makes that paint so thin. It makes it quite easy to work with. So you can just take your time here, just to really strengthen out that color, smooth out any inconsistencies that you might have. And with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use some black Templar to paint in all of the soft details as well as anywhere else that you want to be black. And so in this guy's case, it's just gonna be the pistol casing in addition to these soft black areas in his armor. Like that. And with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use some Eandon yellow. We're gonna use this to paint in the shoulder pad around here. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some wildwood. We're going to use this to paint in all of the leather details. So this includes areas like the little straps and pouches on his belt and his thighs and hips and things like that. But also on the little straps here on his chest, as well as any other kind of things like the scabbard for the knife round here. So you just want to go over all of these with this wildwood. Just like this. And then we'll come back. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thin down Retributor armor to paint in all of the gold details. So we take our little Retributor armor and we just want to pick these out. So these are going to be areas like the skull on his chest, as well as the crossed swords. We want to pick out the decorative features on his scabbard, as well as the pommel and the hilt of his combat blade well as any other gold details that you might have on your Hounds of Morkai. And with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use some thin down iron warriors. We're gonna use this to coat in all of the parts that we want to be silver. So areas like the blade, the working areas of the gun, the vents on his backpack, the grenades, all those types of things. And with that done, what we're now going to do is shade those metallics. And the color that we're going to use first is Fire Slayer Flesh. And it's going to be for all of those gold details. So you just want to take a small amount of this Fire Slayer Flesh and start coating it over the top of that Retributor armor. And with that done, what we're now going to do is shade all of that silver with some Basilicanum Gray. So with that done, what we're now going to do is focus on his face and the colour that we're going to use is Gilliman Flash. What we want to do is take a fair amount of this on my brush and I'm using a small layer brush here so I get lots of control as I do this. I'm just going to make contact at the back of his head and just start pulling that flesh colour all the way across. Like this in these big broad brush strokes. Just being careful to try and not avoid, uh, try and avoid the hair I should say so as we don't kind of cover it in the flesh tone. But if you do get any of it too much on the hair, you can do is just use a little bit of grace here just to neaten it back up. And with that done, what we now want to do is we want to use some black Templar. We're going to use this for a couple of things. Firstly, we're going to use it to colour in his beard and his hair. Just being really careful around all that skin that we've already painted in. Like so. sure that we get all of his beard finished before we move on. So there's not any kind of strange tonal inconsistencies when we come back to it with the Black Templar.
like that. And what we also want to do is we want to use this black templar on the cables. Just doing one nice long big broad brush stroke like that. Same again on the other side. And next up with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use a small amount of wraith bone. And this is going to be to colour in his teeth, but also the whites of his eyes. Let's just go very steady here. And just apply. This wraith bone. Very gently. To these areas. And once that's done, what we want to do is we take a small amount of Black Templar. I want to use this just to put in the pupil of his eye. Like that. And so with that done, what is now time to do is to do all the highlights. So we're going to start, well, where we've just finished off. So we're actually going to start with the face. And the colour that we're going to use first, not the only colour that we're going to use here, is flayed one flesh. What we're gonna do is just take a really tiny amount of this on our brush. We just wanna start picking out the sharpest details on his face. So areas like the bridge of his nose, this scar going down here, the wrinkles on his forehead, his cheekbones, etc. Just wanna pick it out. Like that. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight all of the black details, including his hair and his beard. So, the colour that we're going to be using for that is Administratum Grey. And what we want to do is just take a small amount of this on our brush and just start picking out the strands of his hair and his beard. And his eyebrows as well, which I keep forgetting to mention. Like that. What we also want to do is we want to use this Administratum Grey to highlight the rest of the black details. So here it is like this cable, what we want to do is we want to just run a small line of this going down the centre of the cable and the top third and the bottom third as well, like that. And of course, we're going to want to highlight the casing of the bolt pistol. And next up with that done, what we're now going to do is highlight all of that brown. And the colour that we're going to be using is some thinned down Bane Blade Brown. So we're just going to take the Bane Blade Brown and just start hitting all the edges. And all of that leather. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight all of the silver details. And the colour we're going to be using for this is Iron Hand Steel. Now I've thinned some down on my plate. Plate? Palette. Fin some down on my palette, not my plate. I fin some down because we're going to go do the highlights in two ways. So on the blade, what we want to do is we want to pick out the sharp cutting edge. We want to do the whole edge like this. Just want to do that whole section like that. Giving us effectively two different metals. See, like that. And then what we do is we highlight the bit that's still Iron Warriors with the Iron Hand Steel. So we do it like, like that. Then what we also wanna do is highlight all the rest of those metallic silver details. And with that done, what we now wanna do is take some Stormhost Silver and use this just to highlight the sharpest edge of the blade. Like that. 
And with that done, what we're now going to use is use some Sycorax bronze to highlight all of that gold. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to paint in the computer screen. Now, what you can see is I've painted the large screen with iron hand steel and I've painted the buttons with the Sycorax bronze. And the reason for this is because the two colors we're going to be using is Orc Flesh and Blood Angels Red. And we're going to be using the Orc Flesh on the screen and the Blood Angels Red on the buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the buttons. I'm going to take a small amount of Blood Angels Red and we're just going to add this over the top. That Sycorax bronze, like that. And the reason we've used those metallics as the base because it just makes the buttons nice and shiny and we don't have to do anything else to them. I'm gonna wash the brush. And then we're gonna take a small amount of orc flesh. I'm gonna use this over the top of that screen. Like that. Giving us this lovely green. color like so and if you want to what you can do is you can take a small small tiny amount of Corax white just paint a little bit of a design over the top of that screen so I'm going to do a little grid like this and then lastly we're going to use some warp lightning over the top of that grid, just to blend all those colors together. Like that. And it's now at this point where if you've been painting a Reaver or a Hound of Morkai with a helmet, what you now want to do is you want to paint in that helmet, uh, the skull decoration. And so the color that we're going to use for that is Skeleton Horde. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight that skeleton horde with some wraith bone. And with that wraith bone applied, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some blood angels red. And we're going to use this to paint in the lenses on the helmet. And so with that done, the more eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed that this guy has already been highlighted on his armor. His armor's not finished, but I did do the majority of that gray before we got there. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna make this guy look like this guy. And the color that we're gonna be using is rust gray. Now what we wanna do is we wanna use this to highlight all of the dark gray slash blue armor that we've painted already. We don't wanna do this on the, the bits that are Space Wolves gray because well, it won't do anything. So we're just going to do it like this on these bits. I'm just going to hit all of those edges. And then we're going to come back. And with that rust grey all applied, it's now time to add some spot highlights to that rust grey, but also to highlight all of the Space Wolves grey parts that still remain. And the colour that we're going to be using for that is some thinned down blue horror. So we just take our blue horror on our brush and we start picking out those edges. So for example, on this knee pad, just wanna hit the edge all the way around, like so. Similarly, on the shoulder pad as well. I'm gonna do that. Just getting the outside. And we'll also wanna do the inside edge. Whereas on the rust gray highlights that we've got, what we wanna do is we're gonna pick out the extreme corners so like, for example, here on this belt buckle, just wanna add a tiny little bit of blue horror, like that to the corners, just to make them look super sharp and shiny. 
So with that done, all that is left to do on our Hounds of Morkai is to paint in the pack markings. Now, these pack markings for the Hounds of Morkai go on the right shoulder pad and that's the knee pad, the right knee pad and the right shoulder pad. And this can be any design that you want, but the box art shows us these four triangles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and replicate that design right now. And the colors that we're gonna use is Black Templar. So what we wanna do first is we wanna draw in our design's outline. So we just wanna start by drawing in these markings. We're doing our first triangle like that. And we wanna do the next one. Doing another straight line, roughly starting in a similar place to the first one, like this. And you're on the next line. Going down like that. And you just want small amounts of Black Templar on your brush as you do this. Really again. The next one there. And the last one is in there. And then once you've drawn the outline in, what you want to do is just block it in with some Black Templar. And then whatever you do for your shoulder pad and for your knee pad, you want to replicate it on both. So up one here, we're going to do another four triangle lines. And with those pack markings applied, I've also added the transfer on his, right, on his left hand shoulder pad. And well, he is now finished. All that's left to do is the base. Now I'm gonna be doing him in the same base as I've done the rest of my Space Wolves, which you can see how I did that in the How to Paint Space Wolves Combat Patrol, or Combat Patrol Space Wolves. I cannot remember at this point what we've called it. And there we have it. Our Hounds of Morkai are complete. And I really, really love this kind of alternate Space Wolf scheme that they've kind of introduced with these models and also the units really really good looking at their rules it was quite a surprise to really get a bump to reavers um yeah it's really effective and it's really simple to get that dark gray and i i really hope that you kind of found this video useful and that well you can use this across any dark gray chapters that you might be wanting to do if you enjoyed this one and you'd like to support me further like these legends on the screen you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. And if you'd like to stay up to date, make sure to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.